my brother you have been chosen by God to be an apostle in the Lord's church as an apostle in God's holy church you're called to be one proclaiming Christ's resurrection and the interpreting of the gospel and to testify Christ's sovereignty as Lord of Lords and King of Kings you're called to guard the faith unity and discipline of the church to father sons and daughters of destiny and to speak into their lives giving support for the enhancement and growth of local ministries as often as possible to celebrate and to provide for the administration of sacraments of the new covenant to ordain elders and deacons and to join in the consecration of bishops. Most of all, to be a faithful pastor and a wholesome example for the entire flock. As an apostle, you must assist the leadership of the church throughout the world. Your heritage is the faith of the patriarchs, prophets, apostles, martyrs, and those of every generation who have looked to God in hope. Your joy will be to follow him who came not to be served and to give his life for a ransom for many. Are you persuaded that God has called you to be an apostle? Will you accept this call and fulfill, fulfill this trust? in obedience to Christ I will obey Christ and serve in his name will you be faithful in ordaining consecrating and commissioning those whom you believe God has called will you sustain the presbyters and take counsel with them? Will you guide and strengthen the elders, deacons, and all others who minister in the church? I will, by the grace given me. Will you continue to be faithful in prayer and in the study of the Holy Scripture that you may have the mind of Christ Will you boldly proclaim and interpret the gospel of Christ, enlightening the minds and stirring up the conscience of the people? I will in the power of the Spirit. Will you be merciful to all? Show compassion to the poor and strangers and defend those who have no helper. I will for the sake of Jesus Christ, Christ Jesus. Are you ready with faithful diligence to banish and drive away all erroneous doctrines contrary to the word of God and to call upon others to do the same? I am ready. So you may be seated just for save your strength for a moment there. You have made your commitment today not only before God but before this August body and this group of prelates, apostles, bishops stand before you today to witness and to affirm what God has done in your life. I hear the song, Lord, I'm available to you, Lord, I'm available to you. You've made yourself available to the Lord. <laughs> An apostle must have spiritual authority. Take it, Bishop. 
you have it we honor it we recognize it not as a dictator or lord over his heritage it is not assume authority Jesus spoke with authority not as the scribes he had authority because he was under authority likewise you take the authority of God as an apostle be a spiritual father and indeed you are for though we have many instructors we do not have many fathers hallelujah as an apostle teach sound doctrine the word doctrine is the same word as our word teach over the years we've come through organizations that preach doctrine doctrine was never to be preached the word doctrine means teach you preach the gospel you teach doctrine you preach that they may believe you teach that they may learn oh y'all gonna talk to them in here hallelujah you have been one of the pioneers who led us away from philosophical theology where we just raise one argument after another about whether or not what we believe was true more than so what someone else believed you led us into a psychological theology where now we're more endeared to change the minds and lives of people than just to raise our thoughts and raise our arguments one session after another we honor you as a teacher of sound doctrine and a preacher of the gospel you're both don't let it go stay clothed in humility I don't know a more humble person stay clothed in humility although all believers should be clothed in humility an apostle must be characterized by that quality the title apostle is not one that makes you greater because you just carry the title you carry the title because God has made you great enough to carry it oh God I hope y'all got that <laughs> God Almighty Woo. I leave it alone the apostle must be patient don't lose your patience is what have qualified the Lord to affirm you as an apostle in the body you have so much tolerance with people I pray no I started I pray I started to say I pray that the Lord give me the patience like you but anybody who pays for patience no patience know that you're also paying for praying for tribulation <laughs> hallelujah and I just pray that you keep the patience <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I charge you to continue your walk as an exemplary leader. Every man in this building can follow you as you follow Christ. Continue to walk, be a mentor, be a model, be an example that many of us in this room can likewise mimic and follow after almost to the point of sinning because so desirous can we be of your spirit that if we're not careful we'll pick up the spirit of emulation which will cause us to sin and to covet what God has given you without an understanding that God has also a purpose in our own lives but because we just love the dynamics that God exemplifies through you we can long for it and cease to follow after our own places amen and, and we don't want to miss God that way because what God has for you is for you and what God has for us is for us and we don't want to miss God and lastly I admonish you to continue exemplifying the love for the people God can trust you because you sincerely love the people don't lose that love keep loving the people and God will continue to show his love for you At this time we're about to pray the prayer of consecration this man's servant as we affirm his work and his response and accountability unto the Lord as an apostle in the Lord's church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
praise you, Jesus. I am thine, O Lord. I have heard thy voice and it told thy love to me. But I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee come on church draw me nearer nearer bless to the cross where thou hast died oh draw me near nearer nearer bless Say, Lord, to thy precious bleeding side, consecrate me now, consecrate, hallelujah, to thy service, Lord. Come on, y'all know the song, sing it by the power. Steadfast hope in my will be lost in the One more time, cover me, cover me, glory, 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 cover me, mighty God, holy one, cover me, oh, cover me. Cover me, Lord, cover me, 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 